Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Titanfall 2, showing you all 46 of the pilot's helmet's locations in the campaign. These are the collectibles that you'll need in order to get all the collectible related achievements or trophies. Now we'll see a counter out of 46 in the bottom left, and at the top of the screen we'll see the mission that we're currently on, as well as the chapter that you'll want to replay if you have to go back. And as always, I'll be providing commentary throughout the video. Obviously, in Mission 1, during the Gauntlet, we saw that there was a collectible near the two enemies at the back. Now in Mission 2, we'll wall run across a gap and we'll see the glowing blue pilot helmet directly in front of us. Later on in the mission, we'll get the second battery and then drop down. We should spot the pilot's helmet across the gap as we reach the bottom and we'll just need to do a couple of wall runs to get to it. After making a little bit of progress in Mission 3, you should notice this large structure in front of us with three different areas we can go into. Just go in and then turn to your right, you'll find a new loadout called Tone. And then you're going to want to disembark your Titan. Make sure you disembark directly on the pipe to your right hand side or else you'll take damage when you touch the sludge. Then hop up on the pipe and follow the hallway into the side room to find the helmet. We can lock onto enemies and target them with tracking rockets. This will be useful in direct combat. Later on in the mission, we'll get to this area where we need to disembark to get to the flow regulation gate. And on our way there, just jump up to the right hand side and then onto some pipes, jumping onto one of the small silos to find the helmet. Later on in the mission, we'll run along some pipes. We'll notice that there's a large seven with two pipes running into it that we need to go into, as well as some allies inside of the room. As we enter the room, if we look up and to the left, we should notice a helmet that we will be able to double jump to if we do it correctly. Helmet. We'll then jump across a gap and onto higher ground where a large gate will open in front of us, revealing these things behind it. Instead of continuing along, go to the left, jump down into the sludge and wall run across, making the gap. You will take damage if you're in the sludge, but you can survive in it long enough. If you can't make the jump, just run in the sludge a little bit. Later on in the same mission, you'll open a large door, revealing this very tall hallway in front of us with a 13 on the left hand side. What we're going to need to do is use the pipes in order to scale this area to the very top catwalk where we can find another pilot's helmet. Shortly after that we will get to the sludge waterfall as I like to call it. You'll be scaling up on your way to your objective and you should notice this pilot's helmet very easily off in the distance. Just jump to it. Keep in mind it is sitting on some sludge, so if you touch the ground near it, you will take damage. Pilot, our paths will intersect just up ahead. Our 10th collectible in the game can be found during mission four near the very, very beginning. You'll run forward and then into this large area. You'll notice a cave off to the right hand side. Go inside the cave as a pilot to pick up the pilot's helmet. And you'll also unlock your first achievement or trophy related to collectibles. From the previous location, we'll want to turn around and head out of the cave. Heading forward across the water, we'll see a small break in some rocks where we can jump through and spot a pilot's helmet to our right. Later on in the mission, we'll jump down, we'll notice a small assembly line here, we'll turn to the right hand side and follow along to the very end, keeping to the left when there's a split in the path. 
as we get to the very end of the left path, we'll have to get out of our Titan so that we can be in pilot mode and then wall run some of the rocks at the far end to get onto some pipes, following the pipes to our pilot's helmet. Shortly after, you'll reach this kind of landing pad with a ship to your left as well as your objective to your right. Before raising the cargo lift, get out of your Titan and drop down near the ship landing area to the left. You should notice the pilot's helmet. Uh, you can actually run around this entire area to get there or drop straight down to it and then run back up around. Now we're in chapter two of mission four. If you just continue on the mission, you'll automatically get here, but there will be like a loading screen and some things will happen to let you know that you're in chapter two. You can also use mission select to get here more quickly if you know that something you're missing is in chapter two versus chapter one. You'll come across these pipes into this large room and you should notice the silo to your right as well as the pilot's helmet. BT, how do I get to you? Now, much later on in mission four, as you're using the assembly line to get across all of the large gaps, you'll come to a section where the first wall is attached as a part of the assembly line. If you look down and forward, you'll notice a small white mat. And if you look to your right hand side, you can notice some other things going on similar to my screen. As you approach this area, jump out and across the little gap, noticing a large amount of enemies. Take those out and then jump up on the crates to find that there's a collectible up on some piping you'll need to wall run and wall jump to, but that's going to be how to get that one. And then finally later on in chapter 2 as you come outside and everything's kind of sideways, you'll run across and then keep continuing forward, jumping across a large gap to easily spot this pilot's helmet. We are now in chapter 3 of mission 4, you'll come to this area where all of these pods come out of the wall. You'll just have to follow the pods and try to reach the tallest pod on the right hand side circle. Later on in the mission, you'll have to go across a large gap into a dome using some of these moving pieces. As you're doing that, jump down into the right of the entrance to the dome to find the pilot's helmet. Next up, we're in mission five right at the beginning and I recommend that you grab both of these right away. Although in the menu, they'll show up as a part of mission three. And if you're going back, it'll be faster to do it via mission select on chapter three but either way you can grab both of them on either one. As you drop down into the main area, you should notice a pilot's helmet to your right hand side pretty easily. From that similar location, just continue on just ahead of you. You should notice another pilot's helmet sitting on top of a lamp post. Use the little walkway door thing in order to get enough height to grab it. However, your helmet data does not detect the same as the other timeline. Now we are in mission five later on in chapter two and we have the ability to time travel essentially. And as we use the time travel to access the elevator banks, we can run across some of the uh, areas here. And instead of continuing forward, make sure we turn around and quickly grab the pilot's helmet that kind of is in the elevator shafts at the very top. Later on, after accessing this room, your objective will change to this long hallway with a laser grid. You'll need to obviously use time travel to get across the laser grid. And you'll notice that when you're in the burnt down um, facilities, you'll notice a pilot's helmet. Shortly after that, you'll round a corner in the nice facility to notice a bunch of turrets directly in front of you or a wall if you're in the burnt down facility. You'll have to quickly switch back and forth and then when you're in the burnt down facility, go into the large kind of glass cage that's above the area and then switch back to the nice facility to get the pilot's helmet. A little bit later on, we're going to be accessing cryo storage through a laser grid. 
You'll notice the pilot's helmet directly off to your left. You'll have to toggle between times in order to grab it quickly. And now we're at 25 out of 46, and this one you'll notice at a distance if you have a keen eye. But essentially, you'll use a zip line to get across a large gap, and then you'll have to change uh, to the nice facility in order to spot this one and wall run into it. You can only pick this one up uh, in the one kind of time, so make sure you're in the right time as you jump across the gap. Very shortly after that, you can spot another one, but in the alternate reality. So you'll have to do the same thing, but make sure you're in the right time in order to grab this one as well. This was the Ark's final destination. Anderson's plan. And now we're starting off with mission six, and we're already in chapter two, as the first chapter didn't have anything we could grab. As you come into this room with these spinning turbine things, jump up onto the right-hand side turbine in order to grab this real quick. Then, later on in Chapter 2, as you finally grab the arc gun from Marvin, you can now access the wind turbine that you'll need to get uh, further on in the mission, so you can bring this weapon back. Now, if you face one way, you'll have a doorway in order to proceed, but if you face the other way and then push forward as you're shot up into the air, you will be able to grab the pilot's helmet, which is visible from the bottom of the wind turbine. Now we're in chapter three of mission six, where we're gonna be accessing a dish and doing a whole bunch of stuff back into the area where we kind of started the mission, but weren't able to access these areas. As you approach this large structure, disembark out of your Titan and then climb to the very top of the circular structure in the middle in order to grab a pilot's helmet. From the location of that pilot's helmet, we can quickly grab the next one by turning to the left hand side if we were facing from the direction that we came and you can use these little two uh, cylindrical tubes in order to quickly jump across the gap. It might take a little bit of timing, and as you approach the far end, you should notice the pilot's helmet sitting in the corner of one of the towers. Trust me. A little bit later on in Chapter 3, you'll be thrown across a gigantic chasm as you enter the bottom floor. Use your arc gun to open the door to your right in order to find the pilot's helmet. From the previous location, you can now go forward and run across this gap. We're going to be sticking to the left-hand side, and to make this jump, I'd probably recommend quickly doing a slide and then a double jump to get enough distance. Now, just climb to the top where you'll notice a door, and to access this door, use your arc gun. Now, once you're inside, climb the spiral staircase and go to your left-hand side to notice a small circular silo where we can climb on top in order to find a pilot's helmet. Now you'll end up clearing a bunch of enemies out and you'll notice a silo marked with the number 8 and we'll use our arc gun to gain entrance into it. Behind it we can also notice yet another silo. Instead of going into it, we'll have to go around it using these small platforms on the outside to get on top so we can now run across the rooftop and jump over the gate in order to access the crane. Move the crane to the very left so we can access the small structure to the left instead of to the right as that's where our objective would be and jump across and make your way to the rooftops in order to find another pilot's helmet. As you make your way to the dish, one of the final cranes you'll need to access, you'll need to move your little panel all the way to the right hand side in order to be able to get across. Once you do get across, you'll go inside and then through a door, noticing an elevator that closes as you enter the area, jump on top of this elevator in order to find the pilot's helmet. Hey, 
after you use your arc gun to open a door to finally get even closer to the dish, you'll want to jump across to the left hand side on your way to the objective which is the control panel for the dish. Instead of turning into where you want to go if you were to go to the objective which is to the left right here, instead of going there just go across straight across to the pilot's helmet. Now we're a little bit later on in the mission and being thrown yet again but this time in a different direction. As we get to the very top of where we're supposed to land, make a left hand turn and follow along these catwalks. Jump across the gap and then halfway up the stairs, you should notice a pilot's helmet. From the previous location, we're going to scale this area even further up by jumping across a small gap, then accessing the next area through a floor tile, using some stairs and jumping across yet another gap. As we enter the inside of the top level of the structure, we'll notice that there's a pilot's helmet on a beam to our right where we'll want to pick it up. Hi, <laughs> pilot. This is Cuban Blisk. Been listening to us, say. Eh? You want to be a hero, yeah? Okay. Keep coming at me. Keep coming. But if I were you, I'd stop trying so hard to be a. And now we're off to mission seven. After getting into the structure, before heading down that long hallway directly in front of us, disembark from your Titan, jump up to the left-hand side, in between the spinning turbines, in order to grab the helmet. As you continue towards your objective, keep in mind you can look at how many meters away I am from my objective if you need a little bit of a reference, you'll notice that there's a truck with some energy off to the left and you'll continue forward and there's an elevator directly in front of us. Before accessing that elevator, go to the left hand side behind these boxes to find a small door. Access this door and continue up through the pathway to find the pilot's helmet. After riding the elevator and making our way to the very top, we'll notice that there is a new Titan loadout which we'll obviously want to pick up called North Star. Continue forward, looking to your right hand side to notice some pipes as well as a small walkway. Follow that walkway and you should see a very obvious Titan helmet directly in front of you which you can double jump to. We're now in mission eight, we're inside the ship on foot. You'll want to run across. I'm gonna use my invis so that the enemies don't shoot me. And off to the right hand side, there's this platform and a small gap. We can jump across in order to grab a pilot's helmet. We're at number 41 and 45, only a couple more to go. Now, eventually you'll get to a part where there's gonna be a ship that's gonna come up and it wants you to wall run across that ship to get across the gap. Instead of wall running on it, Go inside to pick up the pilot's helmet at the door. Now there's a chance that it might close on you or open and you make it stuck. Just restart the checkpoint if that happens. Now from there you're going to want to continue on and pretend you actually did the thing properly using the ship to get to the next area. Once you drop down into the next area, stay on the right hand side of the platform and run all the way to the very end of this long hallway or catwalk walkway thing. And as we reach the very back of it, we'll notice that there's a Titan's helmet, or a pilot's helmet rather, off to the left hand side, just a little bit off this path. We are now in mission 9, the final mission of the game. We have our smart pistol and we've come to this large open area where I've taken out all of the enemies and there's some turrets in the windows across. Go to the A30 sign on to the left where you can now jump up and use the little cables in order to get the extra height you need. Get to the very top of where the cables connect to in order to find a pilot's helmet. Later on in the mission, as you approach your objective, you'll notice that there is a hangar with B4 written above it. As you enter, it's a white text on a red background. Disembark from your Titan, and you'll want to go to the very back, and then use some of the platforms as well as the pipes 
to reach the pilot's helmet that you should be able to spot as you enter this large area. Directly after this, there's also an opportunity to get the Annihilator achievement slash trophy. I'll put an annotation on screen if you guys want to check that out. You can also find the video on my channel. final collectible of the game can be found as we enter this room with these large circular things that are glowing blue. We'll go up the first ramp noticing the R5 directly in front of us, disembark from the Titan, and then use some wall jumps in order to get to the top of the glass house on the right. From there, we can use some pipes in order to access the pilot's helmet, which is going to be on the right hand side, glowing pretty brightly in the dark, dark room. After you grab it, that should be all 46 collectibles in Titanfall 2 for you, unlocking all the achievements and trophies related to them. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. If it was, drop a like and share the video with some friends. I would appreciate that. Special shout out to DocCupcake84 for supporting the show on Patreon, and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.